parting with my friends. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. Obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this dream or something. One day, but not here. Not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. <laughs> Saying my goodbyes to dad before going to Russia. I promised him this was going to be my last tour of duty. Besides, I, I wasn't going to war. I expected a cushy job guarding the embassy. How could I know that instead of a cushy job, waiting for me were mushroom clouds, desperate struggle, salvation, and a tour of duty that would last 20 years? But as soon as Artyom's dogged determination to break out of the tunnels paid off the way it did, I hoped to see my father again took root. As we were going east, that hope grew. By the time we reached Novosibirsk, going home was the only thing I could think about. Only duty before my commander and my friends kept me from leaving immediately. But my service with the Order came to an end on the shores of Lake Baikal. There, on that hill, through the terrible pain of loss, I could feel that my friends had also found... closure. Their journey was over. Not mine, though. The hope that's been nagging on me for so long now turned into an obsession. The purpose of my life. I had to go. And my friends who had long since become my family only understood. As I'm entering the outskirts of Vladivostok, I know I was immensely lucky to have gotten even this far. But since fate chose to take me here, to the Pacific, I must do everything I can to find a way home and see my old man again. Привет, Владивосток.
lost, you idiot! Watch out, boys! Don't get hit! Don't fucking kill him! Shoot his legs if you must! I'm warning you! Next time I'll shoot to kill! What you have me do? I guess that's all. I'm not greedy. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, we ain't gonna kill you. The kingpin wants you alive. And how do you know what he wants? I have my sources. As for you, stop wasting my time and come on. Show yourself so I know where to go. Fucking here. Much obliged. You motherfucker! You got our boss! Shoot the fucker, boys! Ah, you're welcome to try it! I'm coming up ammo for all of you! Boys, the fucker's got help! Watch the fuck out! I think we got all of them! Those were some neat moves! Come up here and let's talk! All right! Take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now! All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously, talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? 
The bat wind. Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me.
Come and take it, you bastards! Come and take it! You're coming. With us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck off! Go to hell! And stay down! I'll fucking kill you all! <laughs> Looks like it. Well, you might still change your opinion. Hey guys! Turns out we caught an American! We better go camp down and report! Mace, deliver you. Patch me through to Kent. I got news for you. Alright, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there? I do. It's clouds. <laughs> clouds? This is a storm, pal. Yep, a storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. And head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. It turns out the guy's an American. <laughs> Please, boss! He's more like you on a bad day! Uh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay, I do. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I have trouble believing it myself. Look, 
It's the boss. Come aboard. 